almost three years passed and I made nearly 20,000 kilometers on my new NGT. Time to have a short update on the condition of my electric scooter. The USB charging port is not waterproof and is rusting heavily. Let's hope it will not create shorts. The paint keeps falling off from the rear swing. I really wonder why they did not paint it from the inside and if it would not be better to use the same black paint as it is used for the aluminum brake calipers. Speaking of which, they have the same issue like each brake caliper has after some time. They start to corrode and do not detach properly. In my case, I noticed that my range significantly dropped. And as you will see later, batteries seemed fine, so I quickly found out that corrosion at brake pistons was the reason. This is not surprising for this design, which is typical for motorcycles. The brake pistons are not protected by an additional ceiling. The additional ceiling, as it is used at car brake pistons, would have prolongated the life of my calipers. I tried to clean and lube them. For now, they are fine. Let's see for how long. I also checked the front calipers. The brake pads need replacement. Luckily I found out since the last video that there is an alternative on the market available, TRW. It's a pity that brake pads seem to live longer in my case than the calipers. Anyhow, it was interesting to see how the combined braking system, shortly CPS, is implemented. When pulling the front lever, the outer two pistons are used. When I pull the rear brake lever, the middle piston is pressing against the pad. And what about the rest of the scooter? I replaced after 10,000 km the tires by Michelin City Grips. Best decision ever. The two rubber compound will last certainly longer while providing a better grip at curves. As promised in my last video comments, I will talk about the battery performance. The app suggests a battery health rate of only 77.5 points of in total 100. But can I see a worse performance in real life? I was recording from time to time the current consumption when charging batteries. The graph shows on the x-axis the driven distance at the measurement. The y-axis represents the estimated capacity which I calculate by this formula. Of course, I'm totally neglecting here any losses through the power supply or battery during the charging process. Also, I rely here on the displayed battery level, which is inaccurate. The measurement points are scattered. I checked for various dependencies such as temperature conditions or battery level, but I did not find any significant correlation to those. Anyhow, I think you can clearly see that the curve is not a constant. Over range, and therefore over time, you can see that I am not able to use as much electricity to charge my batteries as I used to in the beginning. When I compare the starting point of a fitted straight line with a value of almost 20,000 km, I see a degeneration of about 6.5%. As I already mentioned in the last video, I had already another electric scooter, from which experience I expect a significant degeneration only after 30,000 km. I will keep you informed if something interesting happens and I will conclude my journey once my scooter will brake heavily.